Good afternoon from Cap Gold Park in Mequon, Wisconsin. It's a non-conference matchup between the Carnal Stretch Wolves and the Concordia, Wisconsin Falcons. Hello again, everyone. Kevin Winter with you from a sunny Cap Gold Park. The last several days have produced good weather. Yesterday, the Falcons were able to finish game two of a doubleheader between them and St. Norbert College. Falcons came up short in that ball game 16 to 9. Look to get back to their winning ways here today. Falcons have come in on a skid losers of their last six, trying to get things straightened up here in non conference play as they prepare for two big Northern Athletics Conference games coming up here this weekend. The, uh, featuring Dominican University and Concordia University of Chicago, Falcons right now find themselves on the outside looking in for that 2013 Northern Athletics Conference tournament after starting the year 8-4 and four in conference to have fallen to 500. On the other side, Cardinals stretch. They are an NAIA uh, competitor in uh, Division Two. They were a member of the Lake Michigan Conference in 1997, the same conference that the Concordia Wisconsin Falcons participated in. These two have not met as at con as conference foes since then, but they compete in the Central Chicagoland Conference, an NAIA conference, and they find themselves with a record this year. Of uh, 14 and 9. I should say the Cardinals stretched with a record this year of 13 and 24. They are coming off a split yesterday to a uh, a conference opponent, St. Xavier. They split 8-5 the first game and dropped uh, game two by that same score. The lineups for today's game read like this. Cardinal Stritch will lead it off with Chris Bass, the second baseman, the shortstop, Mitch Schnull. He will bat second. Buddy Herberg will catch and bat third. Chad Merzer will bat cleanup. He'll play left field. Brandon Heltz will bat fifth and play third. Batting sixth in right field. Casey Lewinowski, he will bat sixth and play right. Batting seventh, John Bain will bat seventh and play first base. The DH, Clint Anderson, will bat eighth. And batting ninth is Tony Smith. He will play center field. Nate Friday, the pitcher, will be on the mound this afternoon. Friday, a transfer from UW Stevens Point. The lineup for the Concordia Wisconsin Falcons reads like this. It's Daniel Miller. He will play first base today after playing multiple infield spots yesterday. Brandon Seifert will hit second and play third. Bo Bergert, the catcher, will bat third. Batting cleanup is Joel Sharon. He'll play left. Luke Shoreline in right bats fifth. Batting sixth, Kyle Hegeman, the DH. Batting seventh, Brock Bateman, the shortstop. Batting eighth in center field, Jay Kaczynski. And batting ninth is Taylor Book. He will play second. On the mound in game one for the Falcons will be the right-hander, Tyler Adams. As we mentioned, the Falcons are coming off of a loss yesterday to St. Norbert College a 16-9 affair, trying to get back to their winning ways as they try and make it into the Northern Athletics Conference tournament. And now we will pause for our national anthem.
That is our national anthem live from Capco Park. It is game one of a doubleheader between the Wolves of Cardinal, the Wolves of Cardinal Stretch, and the Falcons of Concordia University, Wisconsin. On the mound here in game one for the Falcons is Tyler Adams. Adams, he last pitched several days ago in a non conference affair Adam's last start was on the Twentieth, a couple of days ago against Aurora University, he took the loss in game one of that series, four to one, was going up against the reigning pitcher of the year in the Northern Athletics Conference and hung toe to toe with the Spartans, came up unfortunately on a four one short end, but he looks to rebound here tonight. It'll be interesting to see how things go this evening as he gets another opportunity to play against a non-conference opponent. He is uh, coming in eight appearances, five starts, one and four, with a 4-4-1 four, four, earned run average. And we will be underway now with the leadoff man, the second baseman, Chris Paz. And... Adams swivels, delivers, and we are underway with a strike on the inside corner. First pitch at 4.15 here from Mequon. And his next delivery is on the outside corner for a strike. It's nothing in two. He's back to the rubber again and quickly fires. Outside missing, it's one and two. Much better weather conditions the last several days. Did have a little bit of rain earlier this morning, or earlier this afternoon, I should say, as that ball's outside. As we were walking into the ballpark this afternoon, a light drizzle began to fall. But clear skies now, the 2-2 two -two pitch. Swung on and hit foul back to the screen. And Chris Bass will do it again. Here's a 2-2 pitch. Swing a foul. Back over the screen and back in front of us. Pass coming into the year, 309. He swings and flies one to center, Kaczynski, and he ranges back, and he can't make the play. Off his glove, it'll trickle to the wall, and Bass will pull into second. Kaczynski ranged back on that baseball, reached his glove out, it looked like he had it, and it just deflected away from him and got all the way to the wall. And the Wolves have a runner at second with nobody out. And here's Mitchell Schmuel, the shortstop. First delivery. Up and in. Little Adams backs him off the plate. As that ball came in up near the shoulder area. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Now that one is on the outside corner, now off the outside corner, in fact, according to our home plate umpire this afternoon. Count is nothing and two to the Wolf Act, the Wolves shortstop. Swing a bouncer back to Adams, looks the runner back at second, throws the first in time. And there's one down. Now the catcher, Buddy Herbert. 
for Burr coming into today. The leading hitter on this ball club at 331. I should say the second leading hitter on this ball club. First pitch is off the outside corner for a ball. It's 1-0. and There's the ball again. Missing high, and it's 2-0. and Mentioned Cardinal Stritch participates as a member of an NAIA NAIA institution. The bouncer to short, picked up by Bateman, and he throws across. One out is made. Runner moving to third Bass, and he will be tagged out. The throw across from Daniel Miller to Brandon Cipher. Bass was had a little bit of indecision as to whether or not to go. The ball was hit in front of him at short, waited till the throw, and by the time he made his way to third, the throw was in plenty of time, and it is a 6-3-5 double play. That ends at the top of the first. Cardinal stretch gets nothing, and Concordia coming up. To the bottom of the first inning we go from Capco Park. Cardinal stretch gets nothing in the top half. The Falcons to bat here in the bottom half. And in a bizarre change, the announced starter has been replaced. Now, Robert Hegedorn is now pitching for Cardinal stretch. Nate Friday was the announced starter has been lifted and the first pitch to Daniel Miller is in there for a strike. Here's the pitch on the outside corner strike two. So Eggerdorn is now pitching in replace of Friday and he has got an 0-2 count on Miller and he spins one inside nearly hit Miller
One two pitch. Lifted foul toward the right and out of play as it goes over the wall near the bullpen. Gerdorn back to the mound and now he steps off. Here's the one two pitch to Miller. Inside corner. Missing for a ball. Count even at two and two to the Falcon leadoff man. Wind starting to pick up a little bit here now as it's moving from left to right. There's this the foul by Miller. And he stays alive. Gordon is yet to make an appearance out of the pitching rotation. And now that one is inside, nearly hit Miller, but it's three and two. Miller skies one, shallow center, long run, and a that ball is going to drop in front as Miller hands or stands up at second. Smith looked like he had it. The long run for Chris Bass to make it second base, and Smith looked like he had it, but uh, Miller ends up at second with what is going to be scored as in a double. Ball just fell in front. There's a strike as Brandon Seifert stands in now with a runner at second and a chance to drive in an early run. That one gets away and, in fact, hit Brandon Seifert. So the Falcons have their first two batters of the game on base. And now coming to the plate is Bo Berger, the catcher. Been a workhorse back there. Caught pretty much all of the baseball games dating back to this month, a ball off the outside corner. It's 1-0. and The Falcons have their first two base runners of the game on base, thanks to a bloop double and a hit by pitch. The 1-0 is off the outside corner. It's 2-0. It's got that average up to 268 now for the Falcons. Here's the 2 0 pitch. Grounds one towards second. Schmuel makes the play for one. Throw back to second. Or throw back to first, I should say, is in time for a 6 4 3 double play. Just like that. There's two outs and a runner on third. Miller, the leadoff man, moves from second to third on that double play. And it's up to Joel Sharon. First delivery to him. Hit towards center. Same uh, spot that Miller hit that baseball. Smith makes the play this time, though. And the Falcons are turned away. They get the first two on, cannot score. We played one from Capco Park. Cardinal Stretch, nothing. Concordia, Wisconsin, nothing.
Tonight's game is brought to you by a Brennan Company. ABC is the official clothing and apparel partner of Concordia Wisconsin Athletics. Execution makes the difference at ABC, and that's what makes them stand out. Leading off the top of the second inning against Tyler Adams is Chad Mazier. Takes the ball off the outside corner. It is 1-0. Oh. A 1-0 oh pitch is in there for a strike. Mazier batting 3-0-4 coming into the game. Started all 24 ball games for the Wolves. Right on the outside corner, it's one and two. Adams pumping strikes so far today. Fired 16 pitches, nine in the zone. The one, two. Swung on and whistled foul over the head of the first base coach. Count holds at one and two. Cardinal Stritch beginning their 20th season of baseball as a program. There's a breaking ball missing up high. Count even at two and two. Two two. Grounded on a couple of hops. Cypher to third. Throws across in time. One down. Is Brandon Help, the third baseman. Here's the first pitch to him in there for a strike. Bill Stritch was a member of the Lake Michigan Conference until uh, 1998. Strike, and then they into NAIA competition. There's a ball down low count. Now two and one to Cardinal Stritch's third baseman, Brandon Help. The two-one pitch. Bouncer to first. Miller takes it himself to the bag, and two up and two down. For Casey Lewandowski, he w he's in uh, right field today. Lewandowski coming in. Another guy over 300 for this Wolves team. The strike on the outside corner. The 0-1 pitch. Fly ball to right, right there, shoreline, and it's a three up and three down inning for Tyler Adams. Good start. We've played an inning and a half from Capco Park. We have no score.
five, six, and seven do up for the Falcons here in the bottom half of inning number two. Cardinals Stritch and Concordia, Wisconsin. No score. Falcons have one hit. The leadoff bloop double by Miller. There's the ball up high to shoreline. Wolves made a change to begin the ball game. Ball on the outside corner missing. Friday was the announced starter, but was made to go to Robert Hagedun as he deals a strike. It's two and one. Two one pitch, swung on, lifted, foul out of play to the left. Down even at two and two. The Falcon right fielder, Luke Shorlock. The 2-2 pitch. Side missing, sliding to make the play is Herberg, the catcher. Count is full to the Falcon leadoff man, Shoreline. He swings and skies one towards center. Long run, and that will fall in front again. Shoreline will dive at a second base hit. Playing deep for the second consecutive inning. A bloop double to begin the inning. Kyle Hegeman now with a runner in scoring position. Hegeman, the DH today, has been playing the past several games over at first. Miller finds himself there today. Shoreline getting his lead away from second. Here's the pitch. Missing off the outside corner. It is 1-0. and oh. A 1-0 pitch. Two hopper to second. This will move the runner to third. Making the play is Bass. And there is one out here in the inning. And it's the shortstop, Brock Bateman. Now has a runner at third with another with a RBI chance with Jay Kaczynski to follow and then Taylor Book. Pitch is in the dirt and smothered by Herbert. Hagedon is a freshman out of El Paso, Texas. Swinging a bouncer towards third. This should get a run in. Throw across the diamond is in time. Falcons add a run as Shoreline scores. Here's Jay Kaczynski. And he'll bat with the bases empty. Falcons up one to nothing. First one to the center fielder. Bounce it at third. Picked on one hop. Help throws across in time. Falcons get a bloop double to center field and manufacture a run. We've played two from Capco Park. Falcons one. Wolves nothing.
Top of the third is upon us here from Mequon. Concordia, Wisconsin picks up a run in the bottom of the second to lead one to nothing. Here's John Baum, the first baseman. Face Tyler Adams, and the first pitch is off the outside corner for a ball. It is 1-0. Adams quickly back to the rubber and fires. Bouncer to second. Book fields, throws, and in time. And again, there is one up and one down. Here's Clint Anderson, the batter now. Adams has retired the first seven to face him. There's a strike on the outside corner. He's shown flashes of this all season long. Gets off to fantastic starts. And he fires in there again. Oh, 29 pitches. 18 of them have been in the zone. He's been on today. Here's the 0-2. Up high for a ball and away. Berger comes up the ladder and makes the play. The one-two pitch. Bouncer to short. Bateman got a hurry throw in time. Two up and two down. Tony, Tony Smith, the batter now. Had a few balls drop in front of him in center field that have allowed the Falcons to get leadoff doubles the past couple of innings. Takes one up high for a ball. Comes back to the rubber again. Kicks and delivers. Side corner missing. It's 2-0. The 2-0 pitch is on the way, up and in. It's 3-0. First time today that Adams has gone 3-0 to a hitter. Three zero is right down the boulevard in there for a strike. Swivels again. Here's the 3-1. Liner to short. There's a base hit over the head of Bateman. And the first base runner and base hit. The number nine hitter, Smith, comes up with a base hit. Back to the top of the order we go now in Bass. A ball off the inside corner. Stan corrected um, that Bass actually did reach. That was the first hit allowed of the game, but Bass reached on a leadoff error in center field. Bounced to third and foul. As Seifert was ready to make the throw, home plate umpire came out and signaled foul ball. Count is even at one and one. Back to the rubber again. Here's the one one pitch, and now he throws the first a close play, but spit is back. It is. The next pitch is outside for a ball. It's two and one. Two down here in the top of the third inning. One to nothing. The Falcons lead with the runner going. That's going to be a base hit. And Smith now falls. Throw back to second. Is in time. They got him. Smith tripped and fell going around second base. 
and the throw from Shoreline is in time. Wow. Well, <laughs> the uh, I've seen that the past couple of days where I don't know if he tripped over the bag. I think he just tripped over the bag and took a tumble, and the next thing you know, he was too far off the bag and alertly looped. Shoreline threw a seed back to second for the out. The Cardinals stretch is turned away in the third after two and a half, one nothing Falcons. Bottom of the third inning upon us already from Capco Park. One to nothing, the Falcons lead over Cardinal Stretch. Here in game one of this non conference twin bill. Bottom of the order to lead it off for the Falcons. Taylor Book, Daniel Miller, Brandon Seifert. First pitch to Book is in there for a strike off the outside corner. Off the inside corner to Book. Count is even at one and one. Collins pitch is on the outside corner again. It is one and two. The one two pitch. Off the outside corner. Nice block by Herberg as he. Dove to his left to make that stop. Count even at two and two. Book the left-handed batter. Swings and lines one back up the middle. That'll be a base hit. That average on the climb the last couple of games. Up nearly 35 points. We'll get him up even higher now as he leads off the Third with a hit to the top of the order in Daniel Miller. Led off the game with a bloop double. Takes one off the outside corner for a ball. Take it on. Checks on Book at first. Back safely with a dive. Stolen eight times this year. Maybe looking to steal another one here. He's going. Here's the pitch. Swung on. Foul back. And Miller turns his head away out of the batter's box. Pretty good pitch to hit. Dr. Val Kuyper giving more signs down that third base line. The 1-1 pitch. There's a strike on the outside corner. Book stays put over there at first. It's one and two. Again, check on Book at first, and he's back. The one two to Miller. Is on the way. Up high for a ball. Count even at two and two. According to Wisconsin and Cardinals stretch here in game one, 
One to nothing, the Falcons lead the third. Throw to first, and Book is back again. Third time this A.B. The 2-2. Two -two. A shot to the hole on the left side. There's a base hit. Book rounds first, or rounds second, and he'll hold on. The back-to-back -back singles have Brandon Seifert in business with a pair on. Seifert was hit by a pitch his first time. And has an opportunity to extend this one nothing lead that the Falcons currently hold. Here's a pitch. Bunt shown. Gets it down. First baseline. It's a good one. And he'll do his job to advance the runners as Hagenon makes the play over to first base. And now here's Bo Bergert with two runners in scoring position after the sacrifice. Bergert grounded into a double play his last time and he gets plunked that one hit him on his lead shoulder in that right hand batter's box and Joel Sharon with an opportunity now base is loaded only one man out Left-handed batter waiting. Here it is. Downstairs for a ball. Mentioned that Cardinal Stritch is in their 20th season as a baseball program. There's a strike in the outside corner. Now a for of the Chicago Land Conference. The bouncer towards short could be two. Second for one. Relay in time. And for the second consecutive AB, second consecutive inning, I should say, the Falcons ground into a double play. This time it ends the inning. Falcons load the bases. Can it can do nothing with it? We've played Three from Capco Park, one nothing, Concordia, Wisconsin. Top of the fourth inning is upon us from Capco Park. Mitchell Snool, the batter, to face Tyler Adams, who's been good so far. He deals a strike to the inside corner. The 0-1 pitch grounded to third. Seifert shuffles his feet, throws across in time. Here's Herberg, the catcher.
Pitch is in there for a strike to Herbert. One to nothing our score as we play here to the top of the fourth. One down here in the inning, Adams pitch. So we got a liner back through the box. Look out over the outstretched glove of Adams, and that is a clean base hit back through the box. Hit number two in the game. Could say number three in the game for Cardinal Stretch. Go over to first, and Herberg is back. Adams back to the rubber again. Here it is. Pop up. Taylor Book at second. Shielding his eyes. He makes the play into the outfield grass. Two down. Tough play in a sun-splashed afternoon. Shadows of the light standards making their way out to the pitcher's mound this afternoon. The wind has died down yet again. Is in there for a strike to Brandon Help, the third baseman. There's a strike in the outside corner. Adams continues to pound the zone. Been good so far today. He's been good his last several starts. Been the victim of poor offensive outputs. Roll to first and back safely. Adams with 0-2. The count on help. That ball just missed off the outside corner. Berger held it there for a split second longer. No goal. Count now one and two. One two pitch is off the outside. Berger gets up out of his crouch. Make does not make a throw to first. And is even at two and two. Two down the pitch. Inside corner didn't miss by much. Count full up. Runner will be on the move here, Herber, at first base. He goes. That ball will be into right for a base hit. Shoreline picks it up and fires it back in quickly. So Adams was ahead of help, but he loses him to, an, uh, to a single to right. And here's Lewandowski. Lewandowski swings and hits a liner to third. That's a fair ball. That'll go all the way to the wall. One run's going to score easily. Here comes another making his way around third is helped, and he will score all the way from first. And it's a two-RBI double for Lewandowski. So Adams goes from quickly ahead here in the inning, gets the first two outs then, or has two outs, I should say, and then loses the next man, followed by a two-RBI double by Lodowski, and it is now 2-1. to one. Cardinal Stritch moves in front. The pitch in there for a strike. That's what we were talking about earlier. Adams cruising along the first several innings, second time through a different story, but he does have two outs and a strike. Baum lines one to third. That'll be a base hit. On his way around third is Lewandowski. Throw to the plate, not in time. Moving up on the play is Bain, and he will get a single and an RBI. Back-to-back -back hits have made it 3-1. to one. Cardinal Stritch moves in front. Two 
And here is Clint Anderson, the DH. He bounces one towards third. Seifert in a few steps. Got a hurry. Throw to first is in time. So a couple of two-out hits. Plate three runs for Cardinal Stritch. In all, they pick up four, run four hits, I should say. Three runs and leave a runner. After three and a half from Capco Park, it is the Wolves three and the Falcons one. Chancery Pub and Restaurant wants to remind you to eat well, play hard, and be sure to share with others. That's the Chancery Pub and Restaurant in Mequon. Call the Chancery Pub and Restaurant at 262-241-3450. Again, that's 262-241-3450. Luke Shoreline, the batter. To lead it off here in the bottom of the fourth, Cardinal Stritch picks up three in the top half to take the lead three to one. Falcons have had runners at the corners in the first inning, could not score. The last inning had the bases loaded, could not score. If this time they can change their fortunes as Shoreline takes one up high and away, it is two and oh. The 2-0 pitch, downstairs and outside. Draw line is ahead, 3 and nothing to begin the fourth inning. He is in there for a strike off the inside corner. He'll stretch had some exciting moments for as an institution here in the winter so we're going to bounce her back to the pitcher and it gets past his glove and fielded on the play was Bass the second baseman he records the out so that will come to the or bring to the plate Kyle Hegeman with one down He flies one to left. That ball is going to get all, all the way to the wall. Hageman will pull into second with a double as that ball just kept carrying and carrying. And the next thing you know, it ended up all the way to the wall. Hageman doubles. Falcons yet again have runners in scoring position. Now a meeting on the mound before Brock Bateman bats. Bateman had an RBI ground out his last time up. Or I should say, yes, an RBI ground out his last time out to plate the first run of the ball game for the Falcons to give them a one nothing lead in the Second inning, Stritch has come back with three in the top half. Bateman ready to step back in. Hang him in the runner at second. One down. Here it is. On the outside corner, a strike. And 
Hagedon has thrown the ball pretty well after not being announced as the starter here in game one. Came in before a pitch was thrown in the bottom half of the first. He deals up high to Brock Bateman. So far, has gotten himself in and out of trouble with the aid of a couple of double play balls. Count is one and one to Bateman. Goes opposite field and fouls it to the right. The 1-2 pitch is on the way. Inside, skips away from the catcher, and Hageman will advance to third standing up. As that ball came in near the feet of Bateman, Herberg could not corral that one, sliding try and make that play. So there's a runner 90 feet away, the pitch. Bouncer to the hole at third. This is going to be a tough play. Throw is not in time. And the run scores. That'll be a infield hit as that ball was fielded by Stuhle at short in the hole. And that throw was not in time. Run scores. It's 3-2. Bateman gets the RBI. Jimmy Dodens. The batter. He's batting in place of Kaczynski. So, so Kaczynski started this ball game, but uh, has been battling a bit of an injury. And Jimmy Dodens gets a shot. He bounces one to first. Could be two. Second for one. Back to first in time. And for a third time in the ball game already, the Falcons ground into a double play. They do pick up one run, however. And we've played four from Capco Park. 3-2 Cardinal Stritch. Taco Bell, located in Mequon, is a proud sponsor of Concordia Athletics. When you're at Taco Bell, remember to live boss. They bounce her to third, beginning the fifth. Bateman throws across in time. Smith the batter. He is retired 5-3, to three, and quickly one pitch, one out. The fifth. Back to the top of the order we go now in Chris Bass. He takes a strike from Tyler Adams. Nothing in one. Bring a hot shot towards third base hit past the glove of Brandon Seifert. That ball was Hit very hard, one of the hardest hit balls that 
Adams has surrendered today. Schnull, Schnull the batter. He has a runner at first. One down. And a throw back to the bag. Close play, but back safely is Bass. Another throw over to first. Same result. Still 0 for 2 today. Here's the pitch with the runner going. Up high for a ball. Throw to second is in time. Good throw right on the bag. Bateman put it there. And the runner is caught stealing. So there are two out and nobody on. And the 1-1 pitch is off the outside corner for a ball. Bouncer to second. Boop drops it, picks it up, and throws in time. So with the aid of the caught stealing, the single doesn't hurt. Cardinal Stretch picks up a hit but does nothing with it. This game is moving along. We're going to play seven today. We're already through four and a half. Three-two, Cardinal Stretch. If you're looking for floor care equipment, cleaning chemicals, or cleaning supplies, Tartan Supply is the company for you. Whether your facility is retail, industrial, or commercial, Tartan Supply is here to support you with quality products, green cleaning tips, and specialty maintenance programs. Tartan Supply is the official cleaning partner to Falcon Athletics. Bottom of the order to lead it off for Concordia, Wisconsin, against Robert Hagedon, he has done a good job after coming into this ball game on short notice with the aid of a couple of double plays, has held the Falcons to just two runs on six hits. Taylor Book will lead it off, has that average up over 250. After just a week or so ago, it was down near 200. Takes a strike off the outside corner. Book finds himself among the leaders in walks in the country. Now with that batting average up near 250, he's got a on-base percentage that will begin to start to contend. He takes a strike off the inside corner. The 1-1 pitch is in there again. It's 1-2. and two. Book singled his last time. The one-two pitch. Strike three on the outside corner. Good pitch. Throws him. Back to the top of the order we go. In Daniel Miller, he's had a good day. Double and single. His first two times up. First delivery to him is off the inside corner, almost hit him, belt buckle high. A 1-0. Bounce it at third. This is going to roll foul. Help had no chance at third, so hang it on. Waited for that ball to roll and roll. Sometimes it stays fair, especially on this turf, but not this time. 
Bo Miller will be asked to come back to the batter's box and get another shot. Count even at one and one. Takes the ball down low. It's one and, or two and one. Three to two our score. Cardinals stretch in front here. Bottom of the fifth, game one of the doubleheader. We'll play seven innings here tonight in this non-conference affair. Ball outside, two and one. I should say three and one. The three one pitch. Bounce it at third. Hot shot. Picked up. Held. He throws in time. Nice play on a short hop from the Wolf third baseman. Here's Brandon Seifert, the third baseman for the Falcons. He is yet to record an official at bat in this game. Hit by a pitch and sacrifice bunt. His first two times up. Takes the strike off the outside corner. The 0-1 pitch on the way is up high for a ball. It is one and one. A 1-1 one, one on the way. Bouncer on two hops to short. Throw across. The diamond is way up the line. Stuhl fielded that ball cleanly. And threw wildly to first base. Way up that first base line and carried him toward the infield grass. That will be an E6, allowing Cypher to reach. Now to talk with his pitcher is Herbert. Mentioned that uh, Cardinal Stritz comes into the day with a record of 13 and 24. They've played just 11 home games. Nine and 16 conference mark. There's a throwback to first, not in time. Member of NAIA Division II. Strike on the outside corner. These two schools were together in the Lake Michigan Conference back in the late 90s. Here's the pitch with the runner going, swinging a foul at the plate. And Seifert will have to return to first. Bo Berger has a count of nothing and two. Two down here in the bottom of the fifth. Cardinal Stritch leading three to two here in game one of this doubleheader. Game two to follow shortly. Clear skies, a little bit of rain earlier this afternoon for five or ten minutes or so, about an hour before the game. But the skies have cleared up enough to play baseball. A welcome sight to many around the state. Oh, and to the count to Bo Berger. Pitch with a runner going. Bounce it at third. That is a foul ball just shy of the bag at third. And we'll do it again. This afternoon, a very significant event in uh, baseball history took place. 1997, the labor dispute that halted Major League Baseball was finished. There's a swing and a bouncer in the hole to short and making the play is Shuley, and he comes back after committing the error to make a play in the hole, and he threw across his body in time to finish the inning. Well... 
talk about redemption. We're already through five here from Capco Park. 3-2, Cardinals Stretch. A great hotel that guests love. Holiday Inn Harborview is minutes from Concordia University, Wisconsin, on the shores of Lake Michigan in beautiful downtown Port Washington. Click on their logo at cwfalcons.com to make your reservation today. Here's Buddy Herberg, the catcher, been busy back there defensively, made some pretty good defensive plays, stopping some... Aaron throws, and his first pitch from Adams to him is popped up. First base side, foul, out of play, just over the auxiliary bleachers. Here from Capco Park. Stadium getting ready to host the 2013 Northern Athletics Conference Tournament. The ball off the outside corner. Falcons trying to inch their way in. 1-1 one, one pitch is lined over the head of the shortstop, Bateman, for a base hit. And Herberg picks up his second hit. Dad Mazur will be the batter. Mazer 0 for 2 today. Nobody down here in the top of the sixth inning. 3 to 2 our score. Cardinals stretch in front. Adams' delivery is on the outside corner for a strike. Remember, we're only playing seven here today. At least in regulation, of course. O one one pitch on the outside corner for a strike. Oh, and two, the count to the Wolves left fielder. The pitch just missing off the outside corner. It's one and two. Adams set. Runner holding. Here's the pitch. Off-speed pitch, ripped back up the middle, almost hit Adams in the foot. He hops, skips, and jumps out of the way. And on a 1-2 pitch, to a line shot base hit back up the middle. And Cardinal Stritch has two on and nobody out. Tyler Adams been pretty good so far today, giving up nine hits now, three runs earned. This pitch will be number 70 for him in the ball game. Five ball, foul, right field, out of play. Parking lot area. Now we were talking, at least I tried to anyway. Today was the day that the labor dispute ended. One of a few labor disputes. There's a Ball outside, getting away from Burgett, the catcher. Both runners will move up to second and third as that skipped the way to the right, all the way to the backstop. Down even at one and one, and all of a sudden, Tyler Adams finds himself in a heap of trouble here. Help the batter. Second on the team in hits this year. Fly ball to center, Jimmy Doden's long run, and he makes the play. Both runners will have to hold. Throw comes in to Miller at first base. 
And a big first out picked up by Adams. Held flies out to center. Lewandowski the batter now. Can you see one for two with an RBI? Got two RBIs. There's a strike in the outside corner. There's a shot to center. That'll be a base hit as it falls. And rounding third in scoring is a second run. As Mazur scores, it's now 5-3. Herbert and Mazur score easily on the two RBI single by Lewandowski. That's his fourth RBI of the day. So back-to-back -back singles to begin the inning. Come around and score. Action begins to heat up in the Falcon bullpen. It appears to be Ty Wester down there. Adams comes set. Here it is. Swing and a miss. Bain the batter now. He's one for two with an RBI. Cardinals stretch now with ten hits in the ball game, five runs, one error, only two left. Falcons have left four. Adams deliberately comes inside and misses as that backs away. Also today, a big patriotic moment took place. In L.A., involving Rick Monday. There's a ball off the outside corner. I don't know if any of our elder viewers remember this, but the Cubs were playing a game at Dodger Stadium, 1976, and a father and son decided to enter the playing field, and in center field they doused an American flag with lighter fluid, but prior to them being able to light it. Monday came in from as that pitch is off the outside corner, it's three and two. Monday came in from his spot in right field and picked the flag up just before a second match could have been lit. The first match, according to him, did not ignite. There's a swing and a miss, and Adams picks up a huge punch out. And Clint Anderson, the batter, that is strikeout number one for Adams today. Clint Anderson, the batter. With a runner at second and two down. Ball. Yeah, Rick Monday was able to uh, get that, keep that American flag, and he was later presented with it in a on-field ceremony. And in the moments following that ordeal, as the park fell completely silent, there's a strike in the outside corner. All the fans began to sing "God Bless America." One one pitch, fly ball center field. Jimmy Odens over into right center makes the catch on the run, but not before Cardinal Stritz picks up two big insurance runs on three hits. They leave a runner after five and a half, five two, Cardinal Stritch.
bottom of the sixth inning upon us already from Capco Park. Been playing for about an hour and 15 minutes. Of course, as soon as I say that, this last two innings is going to take forever. Sharon lines one to first and foul. Good swing as he reached out and poked that ball to right. Couldn't keep it fair. He's got that. His average is dipped below 350 now. An 042 or uh, effort today. Bouncer back to the pitcher, and an underhand flip is in time. As Hagedon made the play. And there's one up and one down for Luke Shoreline. Falcons got to get some offense going here. All of a sudden find themselves down 5-2, to two, and that ball is way outside and high over the glove hand of Herberg, the catcher. Megadorn has done a very good job on short notice today. Five and a third. Six hits. Fills the ball off the inside corner. The starting, the announced starting pitcher today, Nate Friday, did not throw a pitch at least in game action. There's a ball. It's 3-0. And a four-pitch walk is delivered to Luke Shoreline, and the Falcons have a one-out base runner here in the bottom of the sixth. Kyle Hegeman, the DH today, is 1-4-2 with a double. Side corner missing, stopped by Herbert. And now a visit to the mound will commence as Eggerdorn is throwing his 75th pitch of the ball game. But done a good job so far today with the aid of a couple of double play balls has minimized a couple of Falcon rallies. And runners at the corners. First inning and then grounded into a double play. Had bases loaded in the third. A double play. Falcons have been held off the scoreboard since in number four. Count is 1-0 to Kyle Hegeman. And the left-handed batter takes a strike off the inside corner. Good pitch. Down even at one and one. Wind starting to pick up again here. Moving from left to right here lakeside. Line shot back off the mound. That'll be a base hit as it takes a kick into center field. A hard hit baseball for Hegeman. Hagedorn stuck his glove hand out, but that ball took a kick off the mound and hopped all the way into center field. And it appears we will get a pinch runner now. It's actually going to be a pinch batter, Buster Hebda. Comes up there without a bat. And the Falcon hockey player will step in to pinch hit now, the left-hander. Hebda comes in to today with an average of 250. And, in fact, now we will get a pinch runner. This is Christian Woodfin. 
Pinch running at first base for the Falcons. Freshman out of Birmingham, Michigan. One down, Buster Hebda the batter. Pinch batting, and he lines one back to the pitcher. This could be a double play, second for one, relay to first in time. And yet again, a Falcon rally is thwarted thanks to a double play. This time, it went 1-6-3. Falcons pick up a hit and get nothing. We played six pull. We go to the last inning here tonight. It's 5-2, Cardinal Stretch. Top of the seventh inning is upon us from Capco Park. Cardinal Stritch has the lead at 5-2 to two as we play the last half inning, or I should say the last scheduled inning. As this is a non-conference affair, we'll play two seven-inning games tonight. Here's Tony Smith, new, new hurler for the Falcons, is the right-hander Ty Wester. The junior out of Germantown deals a ball. Skips away from the glove of Berger. And Wester quickly back to the rubber again. Swings and fouls one away near us. In fact, over our head. Ty Wester making his sixth appearance of the year. Line shot back up the middle. There's a base hit. He tried to give it the uh, college try with the arm swing, and Smith leads off the seventh with a hit back through the box. And back to the top of the order we go now in Chris Bass. He takes the ball off the outside corner. It's 1-0. Oh. Wester fires the first. Not in time. Close play over there. Wester's uh, only appeared in six and a third innings for the Falcons. There's a strike. With a, some arm discomfort early in the year. The 1-1 pitch on the way. Pop-up should stay in play. Book long run, and Miller was there as well. The first baseman and second baseman cannot come up with it as it was way up that first baseline. 
Count is one and two. The Grizz fan. On the strength of three runs in the fourth and two more in the sixth, it's 5-2. Cardinals stretch in front. The ball on the outside corner. It was good today. Kind of ran into a wall in the later innings. As there's a fly ball toward right. A base hit in front of Luke Shoreline. And here's Schnull, the batter. He is 0-4-3 today. But he has two on and nobody out here in the top of the seventh inning. And a chance for some big insurance runs for Cardinal Stritch. Berger it out to discuss things with Wester. He now has to deal with runners at first and second. Team up 5-2 to two here in the seventh. The pitch. Bunt shown. Third base side. Seifert fields, throws the cross in time. The out is recorded, but in the process, both runners move up to second and third. So Schmuel with the sacrifice. And that will bring to the plate Herberg, the catcher. With runners at second and third and one down, he takes a strike from Ty Wester. On the inside corner, it is nothing and one. Strike again, this time on the outside corner, it's 0 and 2. It's a good opportunity for Wester to see what he can do and get himself in and out of trouble. There's a ball down in the dirt. Opportunity to get back in the swing of things in some of these non-conference games with the Falcons playing five games next Three day or I should say five games it in total this weekend, including today. Swinging a bouncer toward short, coming home, and the throw is in time. Boudreau throws home and gets the runner trying to come across the plate, and a big time out is recorded as the Falcons cut down the run. Thanks to the arm of Jacob Boudreaux running on contact that time. There's two down. Runners at first and second. Ball in the dirt and blocked by Berger as the batter is now Bazar. Pitch is down outside the zone, sliding to make the block is Berger again. 2 and 0 the count. Wester set. Here it is. Downstairs for a ball. It is 3 and 0. The 3-0 pitch is on the way. Inside missing ball four, and the bases are now loaded for Brandon Help. Got the first two outs, and now has the bases loaded, but an opportunity to get 
uh, out of trouble against Helch as he swings and pops one foul out of play toward the right. Webster jumps ahead. The 0-1, way up high, made by Burgert. Not even at one and one. Trying to avoid a six. Going to loss. The pitch is popped up toward short. Boudreaux there, and good job. Ty Wester gets himself into trouble by loading the bases, but then he's able to wiggle out of trouble and keep the Wolves out or off the scoreboard. So, we go to the bottom of the seventh inning. Last chance for the Falcons, down Port Washington is a fifth generation, Port Washington State Bank is a fifth generation family owned business. Their mission is to help you achieve your financial goals with a broad array of sound, proven financial management tools and personalized, friendly service. Visit a local Port Washington State Bank today for all your financial needs. The Falcons have some offensive needs as we go to the bottom of the seventh, down three. Last chance time. Doton stands in. He'll be the first to face Robert Hangerdorn, who has been good on short notice today. Gone through six, allowed two runs, one earned, one walk. The 1-1 one, one to Jimmy Doton. Bouncer to short, fielded by Schnull, and he throws the cross in time. One up and one down for Taylor Book. Book one for two, punched out looking his last time. Pitch. Is on the corner for a strike. Takes one up high and away. Count even at one and one. One down here in the seventh. Cardinals stretch in front five to two. Last at bats for the Falcons. Up high and away. Book takes it two and one. Game two to follow here on the Concordia Sports Network. Outside, corner missing again. It's three and one. Point, it's anyway on for the Falcons, and Book has been a master at drawing that free pass. One, nearly hit him, and it's ball four. And with that walk, Taylor Book has now tied the single season record for walks in a season here at T. 
Concordia University, Wisconsin. Taylor, that is second walk of the day. And now it appears that we are going to get a pitching change. So a yeoman's effort by Robert Hangerdorn today after coming in as technically a reliever as Nate Friday was announced as the starter, did not make a pitch, but uh, Hagerdorn holds the ship. Six and a third, seven hits, two runs, one earned, two walks, one strikeout. Has Book at first and one down. We'll come back and tell you about the rest of the game in a bit, but right now we will remind you that today's game is brought to you by WCSS Basketball Camp. They're offering, or they're entering their 30th summers in 2013, and they are more than most basketball camps. WCSS offers and accomplishes more at a lower cost per session than most camps. What WCSS is most proud of is the quality of teaching that it presents yearly. Visit www.wcss-basketball.com. Tonight's game is also brought to you by Personalized Travel and Tours for an excellent travel experience with safety and a personal touch. Call Personalized Travel and Tours at 920-528-7600. Again, that's 920-528-7600. Personalized Travel and Tours is the official transportation partner of Concordia, Wisconsin Athletics. Now pitching for the Wolves, Mitchell Schmuel will be on the mound. If he has made an appearance so far this year, he has. In fact, this is appearance number five. Three staves, all one-inning appearances. He'll face Daniel Miller with a runner at first in Taylor Book. Cardinals stretch in front 5-2, to two, and Miller is 2-4-3 today with a leadoff double to start the game. Also added a single. And he takes a strike off the outside corner. It's nothing and one to the Falcon first baseman this afternoon. Pitches down and outside. Down even at one and one. The one one pitch to Miller. Just missing low. Two and one. The two one pitch on the way, Miller. Bouncer toward the hole at third, actually toward the line, and foul. As the throw was made across by help at third, but the home plate umpire stepped out and signaled foul right away. Would have been a close play over there at first with Miller running. That is the foul ball, count even at two and two. Again. Bouncer this time, back to second, slowly hit. Book will advance to second on the ground out and fielded by Bass in time. And the Falcons are down to their final out here in game one in the person of Brandon Stiford with Taylor Book at second and the Falcons trailing five to two. Falcons in in danger of dropping to ten games under 500 at 10 and 20. There's the ball off the outside corner missing to Brandon Seifert. Full ready the pitch. Bouncer to second. This should do it. Fielded by Bass. Inning over. And the ball game is over. 
So the Falcons get the first run of the ball game and cannot get it back. The final score here in game one, Cardinals stretch the Wolves five and the Falcons of Concordia, Wisconsin, two. Final line score, Cardinals stretch five runs on 12 hits, one error, and six left. For Concordia, Wisconsin, that's two runs on seven hits, one error, and six big runners left. Win this afternoon is going to be picked up in is going to go to a relief pitcher who uh, went in place of Nate Friday, who made no pitches this afternoon and uh, was unable to get the start, but his bullpen did uh, yeoman's work and uh, Win is picked up by Robert Hagedorn. He goes six and a third, and Schmuel finishes it off for his fourth save of the year. The loss is charged to Tyler Adams, the victim of poor run support again. He was good early, ran into the wall uh, a bit as he finished the sixth inning, gutted out six innings. For him, six innings, ten hits, five runs earned, one Strikeout on 83 pitches. Ty Wester finished the seventh inning for the Falcons as they drop to 10 and 20 on a year. Cardinal Stretch improves to 14 and 24. Game two coming up next here on the Concordia Sports Network. Until then, this is Kevin Winter reminding you that it is not who you are, but rather whose you are. Please stay with us on the Concordia Sports Network. <laughs> 